I totally agree. It is for me as well. I mean, that couldn't have been a tighter finish, and that's what rowing's all about, showing that grit and determination all the way to the line, and I thought that the Dutch displayed that perfectly earlier today. Now, though, we shoot back up to the start for the A final of the men's quadruple skulls. In lane one, Switzerland. Lane two, we're looking at there, are Estonia. Lane three, silver medalists at Lucerne, Eton, and gold medalists at European Championships, Germany, are in three. Lane four, though, Croatia. Silver medalists at London 2012 Olympics. Great Britain in five. Performing well so far this year. Gold medal at Sydney. And in six, the Ukraine. Didn't quite manage to medal at European Championships, but out to get themselves in front early on, I'm sure. Should be a good one here. I think that the favourites in this race are going to be Croatia. They've put down absolutely blistering times through the semis and the heats. But Germany are going to be hot pressure for them because they were only four tenths of a second behind Germany, behind Croatia's fastest time. And Germany, the Olympic champions too. I mean, they know how to handle pressure and uh, beautiful, beautiful technique. And the rivalry between these German and Croatian quads has been one of the high points in the sports this year. And already moving out very quickly, uh, the British getting slightly dropped there as the Croatians move out very fast next to them. As do the Ukrainians on this side. Look, they are bow ball for bow ball with the Croatians. Just as I said, a really quick start from them. They want to get out in front and see if they can stay on terms with the favourites, Germany and Croatia. Yeah, we've got four bow, bow balls out there at the moment. Uh, we've got the Swiss on the far side. Uh, the Germans in the middle, the Croatians just ahead of the field and the Ukrainians right there with them. The Swiss, I mean... What an exciting regatta the Swiss team has had. A uh, couple of gold medals so far. These are three young guys uh, that won the Under-23 World Championships this year. Two of the guys in the crew uh, were at the Olympic Games last year, uh, but certainly looking to make their mark on this field. Uh, but in front, truly dominant in this early stage was the Croatians. Boy, did they blast out, Martin. Yeah, they really blasted out, but you have to say for the Ukrainians, and uh, I talked with their coach, Valery Desenko, who was uh, 25 years ago in the uh, 1988 Seoul Olympics, and himself a uh, medalist, world champion in the quadruple skulls in 1991, and you can see the job he's doing there. Going through the 500, though, Germany leading the way, shortly followed, I mean, Croatia leading the way, shortly followed by the Ukraine. What a blistering first 500 by both of those crews. Look at the three-man in there, just one behind Valent Sinkovic, just struck Damir Martin, he is the fastest sculler in that boat, and he is absolutely shoving that boat through the middle. You can really see the acceleration that he's got, everything, all the body weight behind and a crucial advantage, really, for the Croatians. That's half a length on the Germans and the rest of the field, and they're moving away. And the Ukraine, uh, Ukrainians succumbing to the pressure here. We've got the Germans moving up into second. This is what we expected to see from the Olympic champions. They're not going to let the Croatians get away with this. I'll tell you, anyone could win the bronze medal, though. Nice move from the Swiss crew, as you said, on the far side. Young boys, a lot of promise there. The British may be coming back into it, but I think they gave too much away in the first quarter. And there we see, there we ride with the German quads. Egbert Scheiber, the coach of this crew, Olympic champions. He's the new coach. Technique perhaps not quite as flawless as I used to in the Olympics, Peter. Yeah, absolutely, but putting them under serious pressure, Estonia, they're only half a canvas down on the Germans and could well stay in strong contention through this 500-metre section. What a great shot there as we saw the three crews, the Croatians, the Germans and the Estonians vying for that uh, medal place, one, two, three. Such a vital section, that second 500 metres, and Estonia and Great Britain are still very much in contact with this German quad there. Croatia's lead starting to be eroded by the Germans, though, as they go into the third 500. Yeah, two men from this Estonian quad, Raya and Tamsu, coming fourth at the Olympic Games last year. They're looking to make their mark, get on the podium here, but they're level pegging with the British crew over this side. What a great second 500 that British crew had. They're really looking to put themselves up in the medal as well. But right now, it's the two crews that we expected to be there, the Germans and the Croatians. 
the Germans down on 34 strokes a minute, being slightly overrated by the Croatians. But look at the power in that Croatian boat. I mean, they're four of the biggest, strongest guys I think I've ever seen. They are. They have actually, it's cost them a lot to be out in front. And I think the Germans can move. I think they will move on the Croatians. And I think we'll still see a bit of a race. I know the Croatians are, are moving beautifully. And they laid down the card and said, right, catch us if you can. To me, as you're saying, the British are still in a blinder, really. I think they've been very conservative off. And uh, if I hadn't put too much in the second quarter, <laughs> to be level with the Olympic champions, oh my goodness. And uh, for the four British boys, Peter Lambert from South Africa, Charlie Cousins, Sam Townsend, and Graham Thomas as we ride there with the Germans, Tim Gorman in the stroke seat. 500 metres to go, what's your call, Peter? I think the, the Brits are going to start to move through Germany. They're just starting to get a nose ahead there. Hard to tell with this camera angle, but I think the Brits are moving up. They've overtaken Germany and could well start now to contend with Croatia. And Britain have never, ever been on the podium in this event. It's the one event they haven't got a medal in. And Ukraine and Estonia level pegging there. They are driving these crews forward. They are driving the British forward. The British had the Ukrainians on them the whole time. And that's what spurred them on. And it spurred them through the Germans now. And now they're looking at Croatia. They're going, why can't we win this? There is no reason. Carl Schultz said the German bowman took a look across the Dresden Escala. He thought, what are the British doing up next to us? The British haven't looked out yet. Charlie Cousins, the big British three man, is going to lay it down. He's going to look to his right to the Ukrainians. Are they going to come up? Have the British put too much in in the second quarter? Wow, what a finishing prospect. There's so little distance to go now. They're into the Red Boys. Last 250, and the Ukrainians are still so much in this race. They're only a third of a length down on the Brits, who are dead level with the Germans. But the Ukrainians are moving. They've lifted it, and they're absolutely firing down this course. And there is enough water for Ukraine to get through the British and steal a first medal from them. The Germans, I think, have made it certain. Have the British got another chance? Here come the Ukrainians. Beautiful finish from that crew. I can't believe it. Only a canvas to go now. They're down on the Brits and the Germans. Three votes vying for the little medals. Absolutely unbelievable. The Croatians have held on. What a brave start from them. And they cross the line. World champions. So good. Germany, Germany taking silver. And Great Britain just hang on for the bronze. But look at that. The bowman in the Croatian boat, David Sane, standing up already. Leapt out of his seat. I don't know how he had the energy for that. But absolutely ecstatic with the gold medal. And becoming new world rowing champions in the light in the men's quadruple skulls division oh wow and the germans well they're saying you know we did well to hold the british off there but croatians too much and take a look peter lambert yeah charlie cousins can't say anything sam townsend the two man and at agecroft rowing club graham thomas they're going to be really delighted on saturday morning sculling up there near manchester the lad from agecroft well can't take it away from these croatians though what an incredible move that was from Ukraine. But, I mean, they, they got their nose in front but couldn't quite keep those British from that bronze medal. But Croatia, all class, they went out brave. They went out hard from the start.